year I went home for Easter, and I came home kind of late in the evening, so I just went to bed. And the next day, we were at study hour in the evening, and the principal came in and she said, uh, I think some of the girls uh, forgot to uh, check in last night. Uh, I will be in my office, so after you finish study hour, you can come in and tell me that you are home. So we went in one by one, and she had a box of chocolates, and she acted like we were just now coming. Oh, welcome home. I'm so glad. Did you have a nice vacation? Would you like to have a piece of candy? to register to come to Sacred Heart Academy. These were classrooms down here. That was a study hall, really. On second floor, this was the library. And Sister Agnes Clare had charge of the library. And then one of our council members, they all lived here too. One of the council members had a classroom. And every Saturday, she used to spend the afternoon with classical music. Playing in the, this was the dormitory up here where the girls slept. This was the science room up here and the sewing room. And this was a, a closet where all the girls kept all of their clothes. And then when I was making my final profession, I slept up here. And I remember looking out that window all night thanking Jesus for my vocation. And then I said, this were all classrooms and this, yeah. And then we always, we slept here, see, and the sisters who had charge of us lived there too. And we would love to carry their mantles over to chapel for them, because they went to chapel. And then we went over here to chapel. And I just loved to be in chapel with the sisters, because there was a sister over here on this side an old sister, and when she went to communion, I always watched her, and I always said, when I go to Holy Communion, I want to look like that when I get to be an old sister. And this is the chapel where I made my vows, and we lie prostrate on the floor, and made my vows. And this was a music department with an auditorium underneath. This over here was the tower, and I slept up there once. And this was what we called the centipede closet. We had to put all our books there when we came back and forth. This was the convent. And over here then there was a building that called Du Bois. And they said that's where Abraham Lincoln had his farewell ball before he went off to Washington to become president. That's torn down now. But some of our sisters who had TB lived over there because they could get, there was a porch there, and they could sit out on the porch and get fresh air. That's all I know. Wow. So you said you stayed up in the, the tower one time? Yes. My room was up there. Yes. And you could see the, you could see the bell ropes hanging down. I love Sacred Heart Convent. Mm. Nice, beautiful memories. <laughs> and I wanted to, a sister that I admired so much, and she said, if you ever need me, she said, put a note under my blotter, and then I'll talk to you. When I decided I wanted to be, this was a circular drive here. And so she said, well, let's go out for a walk. I didn't tell her what I wanted. And we walked and we walked and we walked. And finally I said, I think I want to be a sister. She said, why didn't you say that sooner? I thought that's what you wanted to say. 
That's all I know. <laughs> you know quite a bit. That's a beautiful memory. <laughs> oh, and now I'm a hundred one. <laughs> <laughs>